Welcome back. And now we have implemented the KYC model. There are other Django plugins that I would like us to first of all install. One is Django IPware. So uh, we have to install Django IPware. So we grab this. This helps us to record the IP address of our users. So pip install Django IPware. The next is Django Cripsp Forms. It's a helper for Django Forms. So we install. The next one is Django Solo. It's uh, it helps you to create a single instance of a model. So uh, this is very helpful if you want to create uh, a site configuration or just uh, a model you want just to create a single instance of it. So we install Django Solo. Uh, if you want to know more about it, you can go to GitHub LazyBed uh, Django Solo to read more about it and other configurations. But for the sake of this, I will not talk much about that. So let's install Django Solo. Okay, so now this is installed. And uh, don't, all, don't remember to always uh, indicate new installations, new plugins in uh, the requirements folder. Base requirements and inside the uh, requirements folder, we have base.txt. So we can install that in base.txt. So we have Django Solo installed and the other one we installed is Django IPware. So we grab that. And version three, zero point two. So I think that is that. And the last one we will need is Django Countries. So pip install Django countries. Pip install. Okay. So our requirements are installed successfully. Okay. So I think that is the last. Yes. Now, before we go further, we're going to create another model called settings or setting. Let me import that. Close this. And in our KYC AML app, below the KYC application model, we paste that and let's quickly go through it so what do we have here so we have the type of uh, KYC system type manual KYC uh, automatic KYC this is a flag to indicate if customers are supposed to go through the manual verification or the automated verification from the beginning of this project, I have talked about uh, KYC verification being in two folds, which with the manual one, the user has to uh, fill a form and then send a form and a KYC expert does this verification on behalf of the company. Now the automated one is when you plug in like a plug and play uh, API from a KYC provider or identification provider. So this will, uh, we will later talk about that. So if KYC is enabled, 
then customers will have to go through the KYC verification and by default is false so we would change this to true allow resubmission uh, should user be allowed to resubmit their KYC application if they have failed if you set to true then you have to indicate the number of tries uh, a user has to be allowed to submit KYC verification I actually don't prefer to allow uh, a user to resubmit uh, application if they have failed the first attempt but uh, as I had said earlier every business has a different logic and run check on expiry should the system run a check so this is a flag that uh, you can automate and let the system run checks to see if uh, a ver uh, an ID has expired. And if this is true, then you should also indicate the number of days should the system notify the user uh, to uh, update their ID and review frequency, how frequent should uh, the staff verify uh, like audit an account so by default is 30 days and the kyc system has already been talked about so this is what we have for our uh, kyc verification uh, settings which uh, in any case usually uh, clients have to go through it and when you have the settings administrator also have the ability to um to regulate how the entire system works so now let's bring in uh, our uh, singleton uh model which is a uh, so let's bring from solo we just installed this uh, models import singleton model so we we have imported that and let's check something here I uh, want to see the, the the country field of yes yeah, so citizenship is country uh, second all right okay so this has been done all right so now that we have successfully created the single thing uh, for settings let's register it in admin so uh, we have our settings admin and then we bring in setting I would like to call this KYC settings instead KYC settings sounds better than just uh, settings so we rename this to KYC settings Now let's run make migration. Python three migrate. So now let's create, let's add the changes to our repository. Okay, commit create model KYC settings. Now all this is set. Let's check our administrator, our admin. Login. And what do we have here? We have our KYC applications. And for now, the app is active. We are not supposed to allow our users 
uh, staff shouldn't be able to submit KYC. So we have to disable the add function on our KYC. So has add permission. So which is going to return false. Now, why? Okay. So now that we are done with our KYC verifications, so we managed to get rid of the add function. So neither, administ neither administrator nor any staff is able to submit a KYC uh, verification. It will be ridiculous if your company is the one submitting a KYC verification. So now that we are done with that, we will go ahead and create a form for our user. So in here, I have the KYC form, which I'm going to grab. I've added a link to the video description. So we go to KYC app. and create a new file called forms.py and we bring in our KYC form. Let's quickly go through it. We import the dependencies, IPware, Cripsy forms, and these are Django standard forms and KYC model. And we bring in the KYC application and this is locations the models, the country, and the user. So the date input is a date uh, being changed to a type date. And it's a model form. And the citizenship field, we're going to take the list of countries in our database that has accept sign up to be true. We wouldn't want a, con uh, a, a, a user to come from a country we don't allow. So now for the exclude, we are not going to uh, include these fields in the model. And here we have the legal first name, the last name. We are not taking the email because this already has been provided. But if you want to take it, then you can uncomment this. And we are not taking the date of birth also because the customer will be uh, providing their photo ID. So this database, uh, date of birth can be extracted from the, uh, the photo ID. And these are just helpers to uh, add some help text to these fields to the politically exposed person, the country of residence field and the citizenship field. And likewise, we've disabled some fields uh, here, country of residence, uh, the legal first name, the legal last name. These are all disabled fields because let's go back to, let me log out and go back to our sign up page. With the sign up page, we took the first and the last name. So the data of the customer we already have uh, will no need to be requested. But in some cases, you may want to allow the users re-enter uh, a legal first name or their last names on the KYC, but I don't want. But I assume that the, the user knows what they were typing and they are not allowed to change this. But for some reason, you may allow your users to provide uh, uh, these details all over again. So now we have the KYC form here. So now we go to the views 
and create some views. So we will have the index page, which is going to return render request and the template name and then the context. So index request and the name of this template, uh, we're going to have it at uh, KYC AML index.html. And we don't have a context now. So view function for KYC index page and then we do the same so we will have additional pages so this is the index page this is a submit page this is maybe the success page let's get rid of that Yes, and we create a URLs file the pie and let's go to config config here now and create our and register our urls for the kyc sorry grab this and paste so that will be kyc let's call this kyc verification And that will be KYC yes now we return to our KYC URLs and let's create our URL patterns so URL patterns That is path, and the first one will be views dot index, and the name will be KYC index. Let's repeat that. Yes. So we're going to have the other the next one as submit and the other one as success. So submit success. Let's import then from the views import views now let's go to our views now um, okay so let's go to our views now Let's make sure make sure everything is in order. Okay, so now we will import our view, the KYC. Let's import this in our form. And we will go through it step by step together.
All right, so not some strange magic, but basically this is what we have done. It's a normal uh, form processor. Okay, let's import our KYC form application. All right, so this is what we have. Because our form is going to take in a form and the country is going to be, uh, okay, so let's bring in this and let's bring in our country model also from locations models import country what's next the get client so we're going to import ipware which is a third party so from ipware import that get client ip and let's import time zone from django import time zone what else do we need to import uh we will get rid of that So if account type, let's rectify this. I will explain. Um, same for that. So what have we done here? First, let me go through and make sure everything is in order. We'll get rid of this for now. This is email. So we'll get rid of that. Okay. Because I copied them from a different, so there's a lot of uh, cleaning up. I should have done this before importing, so sorry about that. In the link, you get the, all right, the, 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 Sorry, okay, let me, okay. So this is what we have here. I hope everything is in order. Okay, so the KYC, if it's valid, so the country will be, uh, will be that. Uh, we'll take the citizenship and the client IP and also so KYC identification type this ID we will take the ID the proof of address the first name last name email everything is in order I think okay so let's keep this because we did not take the registered address during registration let's get that out and we set this to true and if the country is a us so we will set us citizen uh, tax resident to true and what else do we have to take uh, sorry i've got a call through unfortunately 
sorry i got interrupted by a phone call so let's continue okay so now we have this information now let's set the kyc status so by default kyc status of our users so kyc object that the kyc status will be set to pending yes small p so that will be our kyc status and now we can save and now that we have been able to grab the address information of our user let's go ahead and create an address record so we now create the user address record so we get the user so user address so the user address and what other options do we have let's import from the goland users models import user address i hope i got that correct yes and the user address has uh, these fields so the address the type and the user address line one line two state okay so So the type, type as current address. So we will set that to current address. So current address line one will be KYC dot address line one. What am I doing? address line 2 will be KYC address line 2 and we have the state city country will be kyc.country what else do we need zip code will be kyc zip code yes and what else and we have a provision for a user user will be request dot user then we can now save user address And now that we've got this user information, we can now update our user records. So user to update will be equal to user objects. Select 
for update then we filter by ID or request user group ID let's bring in the user the user model Django.contrib.auth import get user model. So with transactions, with transaction dot atomic for user in user to update user dot address or what is the user let's see that user current address will be equal to user address what else can we update about the user? So let's also set this as the permanent address so we don't need to. So user permanent address will also be equal to the user address. The other fields we can populate. The birth date, we will do this later. So KYC complete. So yes, the K the user has completed the KYC. True. KYC complete date. This is time zone now. And the KYC status of the user likewise changes to pending. And the onboarding, let's take it that the onboarding process is successfully completed. True. And the onboarding completion date. Time zone. Dot now. Uh, KYC submitted. Yes. This is different from KYC complete. So we will later on revise. Place of bad verification date. We are not going to do that. A default country, a currency, job title. So that is the. These are the only information we are going to. And user dot save. So we're going to save that. Let's import transaction. From Django dot db import transaction so that is that I think we don't have any errors unforeseeable errors I guess let's review our KYC model I think I may have missed out on the the addresses So on the KYC model, we have address line one, line two, the state, the zip code. So it's zip code. So it is KYC's zip code. And city. All right. So 
Now we have set out on our KYC logic. So if the form is valid, this is what is going to happen. And if it's not, then it's going to print out the errors, but we'll pre-populate the existing fields with the other fields. And so we're going to call this submit. Now we are done with that. So we create our templates. Vigo land and in templates, let's create a folder called KYC. And inside KYC, we will create two files index.html in and submit dot html now let's extend base dot html and block content and block so let's welcome to KYC verification let's test that out KYC verification and there's no template called that sorry it's KYC all right so our KYC verification page is showing and let's go to the submit there's no submit kyc ver okay let me submit kyc success no first name what are we getting wrong okay because it's a login required page and we are requesting for the first name so we need to go in there the submit and log in required let's bring this to that so let's import from django country the auth the decorators import login required So now let's log in as our administrator. Oh, okay. So I need to verify. I think administrator account is not verified. So let's verify administrator is verified, I guess. Okay. So where is our 
okay so let's check kyc verification this is working submit and user has no country object so we may be so the user has no country let's confirm that it's called country of residence okay so user has no country it's called country of residence let's get rid of that for now and there is no template at kyc verification ah what am i doing all right so let's reload now kyc verification page is up Let's close some pages. All right. Let me write something here. Try to be a little bit. Uh, this is a regulatory requirement before you can enjoy the time platform as i said earlier this is not a front-end development but later on we will come back here to fix all the layout because if we want to take time out to work on front end the whole project would not uh, uh be able to co be covered in this short video that's why i'm skipping on the front end and the styling but yeah, so please bear with me later on at the later stage we will come out and then piece out everything together so let's add an href here uh, and we will call this and the url is kyc submit What am I doing? Click here to start your verification. not found what happened it is supposed to be found yeah we need to fix that now everything is in order Let's fix our sign up page. Submit KYC application. Okay, 
is type carefully as the information submitted cannot be changed after completion. So we now, at this stage, we will have to display our forms so that our users are able to, uh, to submit the KYC verification. So before that, without wasting time, let's get started and with our form. Okay, so. Let's create a form tag and we have it there. And so, so let's, let's, let's first of all display the form as a table form as, or as paragraph to be sure we're getting the form right. Okay, very messy, but as you can see, we have the first name the which is disabled and the last name. And in here we have the, yeah, the related fields. I will attempt to submit this even in its raw form okay so let's okay so now this shouldn't be the case let's see if everything is in order and now we need to create ours okay that's stable the form action URL KYC submit and the method this post. Yeah. Now let's create a submit button. Type submit complete KYC verification. Now this is what we have. Very horrible and very ugly form, but let's let's manage this for now admin add okay let's try that let's see if we are able to catch some errors okay so okay so let's get that we are not supposed to show some fields but just to make sure everything is in order Okay, that, that. We are not supposed to show all these, but let's see. What do we have here? In the file. Let's upload that. Just to make sure everything is in is in order. Okay, we forgot our CR <coughs> CSR SRF tag. Let's go back here. For security reading reasons. Token. 
Okay. Now let's try again. This token is missing, so we got to do all this all over again. This has no country. Yes, exactly. We still got this user country. It's country of residence. Yes. Let's reload. I want to make sure we capture all the errors. Photo ID. We don't have a photo ID field. We have a photo ID field. So what is the error saying? Okay, let's let's get rid of this. I like to figure out the errors, then I work on them. So let's check the errors we have in here. Proof of address document. This field is required. So proof of address document. So now, as we can see that the, the, the form is working, we've been able to implement the form. So in the next video, we will go ahead and then simplify the layout and then complete the implementation process of our KYC form. Thanks for watching this video.